All right, let's take a look at the time and language settings. There's not a whole lot to this here, but it's still good information. So you have the option to set your time automatically based on your location. And then you could also manually select the time zone that you're in, or you could manually update your time. If you're in a region that has daylight savings time, you can set it to automatically adjust that, or you can turn that off if you have some reason for wanting to do that. Then you can also select your region from here. So your region will actually determine some features that may or may not be available. For instance, Cortana is not available in every region. However, if you are a native English speaker and you'd like to use Cortana, you might set that to a region that actually has Cortana. Then you can add or remove languages from here. And then just so you know, if you are someone who speaks multiple languages and maybe you're going to type up a document or send an email in another language, you'll need to go ahead down to the taskbar and switch your language to the language that you're going to be using. That will just prevent your device from automatically correcting your words. So if you write a word in Spanish and it thinks you're typing in English, that's going to probably change a lot of the words that you're typing. So definitely go ahead and make sure that you update that. Lastly, you have some speech settings here. So again, you can go ahead and choose the language you speak from this area, and then you can change your text to speech settings from here. So there's a female and a male voice in English. There, I imagine in other languages they'll have the same thing. And then you can also set up your microphone for speech recognition. So this just runs you through a test to make it easier for your device to understand when you are speaking to it and understand the words that you're using. That's it for time and language. Thanks for watching.